As the dragons left, the crew on their surfboards gathered around Blizzard. The Dragon Queen is wild and wonderful, he said. She has done so much to help Moreskamar and its friends. I love her, said Petrel. As you should, said Blizzard. You made a marvellous alliance today, not only for yourself, but also your not only for yourself and your family, but also for your country. Petrel nodded, looking and feeling proud. All right, said Toll. Let's give one final cheer to cement this wonderment into truth. Yes, shouted the Noesis surfers. When they returned to the observatory deck, Darling and her time fairies had served morning tea, fruit, cakes, hot chocolate, chocolates, scones, breads, cream, juices, and other delectable treats. Thank you, called Blizzard. We just saw hundreds of dragons led by the Red Queen. Uh, hold on, need to change that a little bit. They have sent hope and safety to Magal, Stella and our friends, the Time Fairies. Toll was wonderful in the lead. And thank you, Sky, for being brave enough to give us the idea. And Petrel was the bravest of us all, shouted Sky. Yes, shouted everyone. She rode high on the back of the Red Queen, called Jax, bravest of the brave. There was a loud shout of approval. Who's going to read next? asked Angel. Me, shouted Petrel. Angel smiled and handed Petrel the tattered pink manuscript. Go ahead, said Angel. And then she whispered, well done, my brave friend. Petrel grinned from ear to ear. Chapter 47. Oh, sorry, Petrel grinned from ear to ear. She began reading. Chapter 47, The Shortcut. When they'd changed the Book of Endings, Godot grinned at Nell, his tongue hanging out. He held up one of his front paws and gave Nell a high five. Good work, he said. The best, said Nell. Now, said Godot, I'll search for the parents. You'd better make your temporary pass-outs and get the three hostages out of here and back to their children. No worries, said Nell. And Godot, yes, you're sure... Oh, okay, so this is something I don't really want to say just now. I've got to change it. And Godot, yes, thanks for taking such good care of Solo while he was training in a game. He's mo almost shining with excitement about it all. Godot looked happy. Nell added, would you like to borrow Golden's Toll's golden pen so you can write in the Book of Endings? I have my own said Godot with a grin. Safe journey. Bye, said Nell, as Godot slowly put on some gumly trimmed spectacles and sat down at the desk, ready to write. Nell walked towards the shelves to retrieve the temporary pass-outs from the photocopier. To her surprise, when she looked back at her beloved Go at when she looked back at Godot, he had an old feather poised over a very large bottle that read Authentic Fire Gold Ink. Nell raised her eyebrows and smiled. Why in the universe would he bother with a pen, she thought, laughing to herself, when he could have a feather and a bottle of ink. Nell gathered up the three shimmering pass-outs, one for Jute and one each for Pallas and Storm, Nell kissed them and after waving a fond farewell to the library read, she ran back to Magran via several mirrors. Halo couldn't believe that Nell had somehow found three pass-outs, each one especially named for Jute, Pallas and Storm. He tossed his head and said proudly that he'd look forward to meeting the trio for a training session when and if they wanted a lasting pass-out. But, he added, it would have to take place within three months or the deal would be off. Then he announced, then, then he announced huffily 
that he had to go and see the living creatures about the fate of the thieves. Just one moment, Halo, said Nell. Hmm, okay, hold on, I need to change that as well. And with that, Halo disappeared. Nell looked at Jax. Come on, she said, we're good to go. Jax's eyes filled with tears. Is it over then? she asked. Yes, said Nell. Poor Petrel and Squid, said Jax, and the boys. She looked so sad that Nell gave her a big hug. What happens to the overlord then? asked Toll, pointing at the stone gentleman in the centre of the Magran Square. Well, Magal will come, said Nell, and that should happen soon, so if you and Jax would like to stay and see Magal arrive, by all means do. But I'm tired, and I'm sure these people would love to see their children. Jute, Storm and Pallas nodded, staring at their pass-outs. Come on, said Nell, let's get out of here. And with that, she disappeared. How did she do that? asked Jute, before laughing at the sound of his desperation. Sorry, I just can't wait to get home. Pallas and Storm nodded. Same, they said. Toll showed them the function button on the back of the cards. These passes will take us back to my house, I think, he said. At least that's where Jax and I ended up today when we used our pass outs. No one's shown us how to set any other coordinates, but we're inside the training manual now, and that's inside my parents' house, so I guess that's why, and it's inside my parents' house, so I guess that's why we'll go there. Just press them and you'll be back in the real world somewhere. Jax laughed. Whatever the real world is, she said.